Gotcha! Hello and welcome! My name's John, this is the Armstrong Fitness Academy and today's workout is a Halloween style special. It's going to be body weight and dumbbells and it's going to be 38 minutes long. There's no warm up, so if you need to do a warm up, crack on with that. How the workout is set up is, there's 18 different movements, there's 6 rounds, there's six movements per round, and each round is six minutes long. Six, six, six. See what I did there? Halloween special. Right, we're gonna go straight into it. So grab your water and let's kick on. First round. Okay, so the first two rounds are done side by side, okay, so there's no rest for the next 12 minutes, pretty tough, okay, and we're working off a timing of 35 seconds work, 25 seconds rest, okay, let's begin, grab one dumbbell, so we're going to do a 1.5 squat, first movement, Okay, feet shoulder with the part of chest up, go all the way down, come up halfway, go back down, and then all the way up to the top. Okay, so down, up halfway, all the way down, and then back up, keep it going. So you can drop a dumbbell if you want, and just do this body weight, it's absolutely fine. Make sure those feet are flat, knees are out, chest is up, down, up halfway, back down, all the way up. Down, halfway, down, all the way up, and relax. Relax, relax, relax. 25 seconds, rest. Next movement, body weight, down on the floor. Seconds is five, 12 minutes. Alexa, stop. Gobbling off. Right, hands quite narrow, and feet are shoulder width apart. Tense, and tap the shoulder. Tense, tap the shoulder. Try not to rotate too much. Keep the body weight forward. Good stuff, so remember that's 35 seconds work, 25 seconds rest, six different movements, and we'll go through that twice. This is round one and two done back to back. Keep it going. Rest. Rest, rest, rest. Okay. Grab both dumbbells. So we're doing alternating back lunges. If two dumbbells is too much, use one. That's one. Right. So step to the side, shoulders back, brace the core, chest up, head up. Step it back, light tap on the floor, or just go as far as you can go. Get your knee down as low as you can get it. Front foot is flat, and your front knee is tracking your front toes, so it doesn't collapse inwards. Keep it moving. Again, you can start with two dumbbells, and then go down to one, or you can even do body weight. Last few seconds. And rest. Nice one. Okay. Curl to press. So you can do this with two. I'm gonna do it with two. Or you can do it with one. If you're doing this with one, just grab the dumbbell, curl, and press. Okay? Just like that. I'm doing it with two. You ready? Hammer styles with palms facing in, shoulders back, curl up the shoulders, press above the head, back down, back down by the side. Loads of control all the time. Keep your shoulders back, keep your chest up, and curl and press. Full extension overhead. Arms locked out. Down to control, down by the side. 
right. Rest. Good stuff. Okay, we're gonna hit the floor for the next one's gonna be an ab exercise, okay? The bicycle. Or oh, I'm doing a controlled bicycle. A slow down bike. Right. So from here, shoulders up, lower back on the floor. Legs like so, fingertips to the temple. Extend your left leg, then left elbow to right knee. Center. Opposite elbow to knee. I'm striking tension on my abs all the time. Nice and controlled. We're not going fast yet. Nice and controlled. Engaging the core as much as you can. Rest. Good work. Okay. Next movement is a cardio combo. Right, so we're going to do five jumping jacks to one burpee. I'm going to do chest to floor straight away. Okay, I will demonstrate uh, just a kickback burpee, which you can do if you want to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm not doing chest to floor straight away. Five jumping jacks, you ready? Hands touch, put that one, two, three, four, five. So, easier style burpee, hands down, kick back, up, and then continue. One, two, three, four, five. I'm doing chest to floor. One, two, three, four, five. Finish with the BAP. Rest. Good, so that's round one done. As I said, round one, round two, or back to back. After this next time round, we'll get one minute rest. There's all the same exercises again. So you know what you're doing. The warm up's done. Now time to crack on. Okay. 1.5 squat, down, up halfway, down, up all the way, down, up halfway, down, all the way. So when we're doing these movements, you can either use me as a pacer, try and keep up with me, or you can try and beat me. Either or, you're going to your pace, alright? Try and go your pace if you can't do either. All right. And relax there. Good work. Plank shoulder taps. So this time, I'm going to introduce my knee. Okay, so I'm going to do tap, tap, and I'm going to bring my leg across, and then the other leg across. Opposite knee to arm. Okay, so hands narrow, feet open. I'm going to do the taps first. Two taps on the shoulders and then two knee drives. Go, one, two, and then one, two. Back to taps, one, two, and up across, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep it going. Tense the core all the time. Keep the body weight forward and just do what you can. As I said, if you struggle to keep up with me, don't worry about it. Just go at your own pace. Give it 100%. Just try to keep on working. Rest for the full amount of time. Okay, let's keep on going. Right, back lunges. So you can either do a body weight, one dumbbell, or two dumbbells like I'm doing. I'm going to add a pulse in there now. Okay, so I'm going to take a step back, I'm going to do a pulse, and I'm going to bring it forward. Right, ready? Shoulders back. One, two, and then the other side. Oh, one, two, and forward. One. And just go as low as you can go. Get the mechanics right first. Get the form as good as you can. And then you can start adding pace. Don't sacrifice form for speed. Good reps, that's what we're all about. Those best as reps we can do. 
Rest. Good. God, it's getting dark. Cool presses. So I'm keeping, I'm keeping them hammer style. Palms facing in on the shoulders. Palms are still facing in above me head. Ready? Shoulders back, brace the core. Kill. And full extension. Back in, back down. And you can drop it down to one. So I've seen with the wiggle like this. If you're lifting heavy dumbbells, it's going to be harder. But just make sure you can bang out quite a few reps. Because it is a circuit. It's not strength work. Well, it's kind of strength work. It's not one rep max. Plenty of reps. And rest. Oh. Down the floor, controlled bikes. We're going to go a little bit faster this time, okay? Just make sure you've got the movement. Pretty much down. So lower backs on the floor. There'll be a little bit of twisting and turn, so it might come off the floor, it's fine. Fingertips and temple. Remember, it's opposite knee to elbow. Go for it. Extension. A little bit faster. Keep the tension on the core all the time. My shoulders are off the floor. My lower back, I'm really trying to press that down as much as I can. Done properly. It's a pretty good exercise. Rest. Good stuff. Okay, so. Exercise number six of round two. Then we get one minute rest. Then we'll move on to rounds three and four. Five times jump jack, one per P. I'm doing chest to floor straight away. Actually, I'm this time. Ready? Hands touch above the head. One, two, three, four, five, down, down. And just really burp Just control yourself. Tense your core before you hit the floor. That's what I like to. Just so you don't belly flop. Crack your head or crack your chest. Three, four, five. One bit of pee. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll go rounds one and two. Done. One minute rest. Okay. So, on to rounds three and four. Different six movements. Timings are different as well. But we're now moving up to a 20 second work, 20 second rest format. Yep. All right. Okay. Bit of this bit of that, 12 rounds, rounds three and four. Okay, make sure you are still sipping water because uh, it's going to start getting tough. All right, okay, squat again in out style. Double up top, feet quite narrow, squat down, step out to the side. Staying low, keeping tension on the thighs. All the time, if this is too tough, drop the weight, get down nice and low. Harder variation, out, in, out, in. Keep the knees out as you squat, as you stay low, keep the feet flat. 10 seconds. Got that burns like hell. That's a burner. Down the floor. Renegade rows. So when I do this, oh my dumbbells, sorry, or oh, hex styles, if you've got the circular ones, be careful because they, they might roll. High plank position. Grab the weights. Pull. 
Elbow up the side of the body, body weight forwards, tense your core before you rip it off the floor. So you can drop down your knees if you're really struggling, or you can use one arm like that. Okay, that's absolutely fine. But I'm doing it with two. Body weight forwards. Tense and pull. Rest. That's a cheeky one, that. Oh, easy, easy, Tiger. Jasper, chill out. Get lunge walking. What's the matter? You right. Lunge walk. Dumbbell each side. Oh, he's not happy, is he? Obviously, you can just drop it down to one dumbbell or even body weight. Just keep the front foot flat, knee tracks toes, chest up, shoulders back, and try and drop the back knee as low as you can drop it. As so low as you can go. Last few seconds. Rest. Oh, definitely a change in intensity on this round. Okay, press ups with a T rotation. If you need to put your knees down for the press ups, that's fine, but they come off the floor for the rotation, which I'm going to show you. Down. Pivot on the edge of the trainers, up in the air, back down to the side. Pivot, pivot, and back down. So you just put your knees down if you need to, and really rotate as much as you can, keep your hips up, and pivot on your trainers. It's half against the friends, isn't it? It's Ross on friends, pivot. Keep the hips up. Up in the air, nice and deep on the press up. Wow. Good one. Crunch tuck to V up. So we're on the floor. <laughs> That's round three. Starting to take a bit of a turn, I feel. Here, okay, crunch tucks. That's a crunch tuck to a V up. That's a V up. Back down. To make it harder, oh, bulk that up. Punch duck, a V up. Keep your feet off the floor the whole time. Makes it very challenging. Punch duck, V up. Okay, exercise number six, the devil's press. It's a bit of Basically, I'll show you an easy variation. Hand down on the boot, on the air, on the weight. So kick back, legs up, legs wide, swing, and a punch. Back down, change arms. Swing the punch. Back down, change arms. So on the next time through, I'll be doing chest to floor to make it harder. Always progressing. Keep them feet wide and use a little swing and a punch to get the weight overhead like that. Rest. Round three done, straight into round four. Okay, so the in out squat. So I'm going to start on the hard variation. Double up high, feet narrow, 
Get some tension on the legs. Little jump out, little jump in. Let's keep chest up. It's very easy. Perform, go downhill on this. Just do your best. Your legs are gonna burn. So I've started with weight. I might drop down the body weight. I'll see how I get on. See how much I'm enjoying the burn. Not really at the moment. Don't jump your feet too wide either. Nearly there. Stay with it. Oh. That was a groan, wasn't it? Okay, Renegade Rose. So remember, you can drop down to your knees. Or you can just do one arm. I'm going to do two handed. I'm also going to add a press up. Yeah. Right. So you can roll. One, two. Okay, so you want to make it harder. Two rows to one press up. One, two, and deep. as much space as you've got. Okay, so I'm doing three, backwards and forwards. Whoa, who's was that? I forgot he was there. One, two, three, and turned. One, two, three, To get the back knee down as low as you can. Keep your chest up. Make sure your front knee doesn't collapse inwards. Rest. Press ups. Press up. With a T, with a T rotation. Okay, so nice and deep. Turn on the edge of the trainers, keep the hips up, rotate in the air. So a nice bit of shoulder stability on that rotation and a bit of core strength. Rotation, loads of fun. Put your knees down if you need to, but they come off the floor for the rotation. Last few seconds. Rest. Crunch took to V up. If you struggle with the V ups, it's normally which one people struggle with. Just keep on doing crunch tugs. If you can't do a crunch tuck, do sit ups. Should have said that the first time around. Hey ho, ho hey. Punch truck. Oh. And keep moving. Sit up next to it. Whee. It's a little bit sinister. So I'm going to do chest to floor this time, okay? So if you can't do that, do the original variation, yeah? So down, 
keep feet wide, swing the punch, back in, back down, swing the punch, get that weight overhead, you can do this with two dumbbells, too, too tough for me. One more. Rest. That is end of round four. One minute rest. Okay, so. On to the last two rounds. Rounds five and six. Six different movements, different time format. We're on 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. And then kill. Right. Just so make sure you keep on si sipping water. Oh, that's the wrong way around. Terrible organization. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Cooking that gas. Right, let's have it. Two dumbbells, can't do it with two, you do it with one. Hold them up top, chest up, boom back, bend the legs. Front squats. So I've got these palm facing, my palms facing. They're just lean on each other and lean on my shoulders. Don't worry too much about depth. Just try to get chest up, feet fat, knees out. Embrace your core like crazy. Last few seconds. Last few seconds. Ten left. Driving up. Last few. Three. One more. One more. Rest. Good. Okay, so four by four style leg raises. And a sit up, half sit with a twist. Okay, so ready for it. Leg raises up. One, two, three, four, down, up, halfway. One, halfway. Two, three, and four. Back down. Leg raises. One, two, Three, four, back down, legs bent, up, halfway, not all the way, two, three, four, leg raises, one, two, three, finish it, four, good, okay, you need your dumbbells for the next one. So have them shoulder width, press the position. So this is, this is called the bastardo. Down, hands on the dumbbell, kick back, press up, up, stand. So, and then next time, two, one, two, and up, and three, one, two, three, keep on going, lava style. Put your knees down if you need to. So again, two dumbbells too hard, try one, or body weight. So, split time, right foot moving first. Right back, and then right forwards. Same side. Right back, right forwards. Right back, right forwards. 
Okay, change sides. Left back, left foot. Really drive, drive off that front leg as hard as you can. And just go as low as you can go. 10 seconds. Rest. Oh, it's catching up. Woo! Alternating bicep curls. So palms facing in. Just turn. <coughs> Sorry. Woo! Turn towards you as you curl them. Shoulders back. Brace the core. Make it harder, go slower, go slow motion, increasing the time and attention. Oh, one more movement after this, that will be end of round five. Oh. Okay, so. Onto a cardio combo. 10 high knees, followed by two jump squats. If you can't do jump squats, just do normal squats, okay? Probably weight squats. 10 high knees. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, land into it. Two, four, six, eight, ten. One, two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Woo! Two, four, six, ten. Arms up front. Use those arms. Two, four, six. One, two. <laughs> Round five done. Straight up to round six. Front squats, God. Jog us. Up top. Palms facing. Down. As deep as you can go. Chest up. Feet flat. Take a nice straight back. Brace your core as much as you can. Let's call it boys now. <laughs> Ten seconds. Rest. Pull my neck. Oh, this round is it's honking. Four by four, leg raise, half sits. One, two, three, four, half sit. Up, one, with a rotation. Two, three, four, and again. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, leg raise, one, one more, rest, okay, the bastardo ladder, let's get your dumbbells, remember, one, then two, and three, and four, and five. Keep on going. Put your knees down if you need to. Sit down. And just stand up straight. Back down. One, two. Back up. Down. One, two, three. Stand up. Down. One, two, three, four. 
five. <laughs> All right, six. Six, forward back lunge, three movements left. Okay, drop the weight if you need to. Split time, I'll tell you the inside. Forward, back. Chest up, shoulders back. Driving those feet through the floor, chin sides. Oh God. <laughs> oh, I'm not good. It's just cold upwards. Not stopping, no chance. Rest all the way to the last second. Don't stop. Bicep curls, let's go. Control. Two movements left. Now do that. See the finish point. Just learn. With circuits like this, learn to be a bit, learn how to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Just keep on going, dig deep, grit your teeth, just get through it man. Tell you a little bit of pain, a little bit of pain, a bit of a burn, keep moving, and we're going. Right, ready for the last one, yeah? So, we're just gonna do the 60 seconds straight through. Last thing we'll do, 10 high knees, two jump squats, or just normal squats, you ready? Let's go for it. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Land with a nice deep squat, two, four, six, eight, 10. Get those arms. Working. Two, four, six, ten. Oh, two, four, eight, ten. One, two. Remember when you hear the buzzer, keep going. Keep going. 15 seconds. Eight, ten. Last one. Two. Six. And ten. Oh. There we go. 38 minutes long. Six, six, six. I've got it in there somehow. <laughs> oh, hope you enjoyed the workout. Give us a thumbs up if you did. If you like me stuff, me workouts, because I can't talk. Give us a subscribe. We very much appreciate it. Happy Halloween. And I will see you next time.